Welcome back. Today we brought this C-Ray SLX 400. We're really fortunate to have this here. It's only here in Holland for a couple of weeks. So we took the opportunity to take it down to Campers Island. So let's jump on board and have a closer look. This, by the way, is a, a hull which is in the horizon color, which is a personal favorite of mine. But uh, before I explain more about the boat, let's jump on board. As usual, we're starting off at the bow with this great area here, which is a really sociable area. But before I go into that, of course, there's an anchor winch below deck right here, which is, of course, a great uh, thing to have. And a wash down here. Not only to clean off the anchor, but also to clean off feet if you jump on the boat from uh, the shore or something. So, uh, of course, a nice layout with non-skid here, like we're used to with uh, CRA, and nice uh, finishing in stainless steel, and navigation lights, and of course the CRA cleats with the C-Ray logo engraved, a nice touch that I always uh, like. There are lots of nice touches on this uh, C-Ray SLX 400, such as these grab rails, which are leather wrapped, like we're used to in the uh, SLX family. And also the detailing in the upholstery is something that uh, really stands out with the stitching on the edges here. This uh, more or less elevated piece here at the end, which doesn't only look good but is, has a practical function also because if you sit here or maybe it's even better to show it here if you sit here this more or less uh, keeps you safe in the seat because um, this prevents you from sliding off the seat I really like the length of the seat base here and of course having these fantastic armrests gives you a really comfortable um, way to sit. The patterning by the way here also is a nice uh, detail and again the stitching here really nice uh, detailing throughout this C-Ray SLX 400. Cup holders on this side on that side there's two in the bow there's a 12 volt connection here to charge uh, different things there's a remote for the stereo there's a uh, premium uh, fusion audio system in this particular C-Ray SLX 400. Um, so there's different zones also and of course it is um, it has Wi-Fi you can connect your phone via Bluetooth and a great feature that I always like is if you have friends with similar boats who also have a fusion system there's some kind of what we call a party mode so you can have the same music running on different boats, being together and having a true party. There's indirect lighting, of course. This boat has been equipped with the uh, blue LED lights. And of course, there's teak, which you can see on the floor here. That is a, a really nice option that I personally like, especially while having these, this teak uh, table in the bow. Um, gives it a really classy, nice, warm, feeling it's also practical on the feet there's different options also you can have carpet here you can have infinity flooring uh, but this was equipped with the uh, full teak in the bow 
and also in the cockpit and on the bathing uh, platform. There's dedicated storage for this teak table below here. I'm not sure whether you can see, but there's really expensive storage. And again here also the de detailing. I really like these details where you have these canals so that all the water is drained properly and doesn't run into the bilge area. Uh, and you won't be able to see that, but there's a material here so that it re really closes off, not only to prevent water from running in, but also to prevent uh, uh, storage hatches from uh, rattling while driving. Again, a nice teak table which folds out like this. Places to have uh, drinks. Again, the nice grab rails, which gives it a safe and practical feel. The ergonomics, as uh, we're used to with Sea Ray, are just fantastic. I mean, this is a great place to sit. We're in a 40 foot boat, which is around uh, 12 meters. And as you can see, there's place for three people to uh, sit here. There's place for a couple of other people in the bow, so it's huge. Uh, this Sea Ray can even have 22 people sitting. Imagine that, on a 40 foot boat, 22 people. It is huge, fantastic. It's early in the morning now, the sun is coming up, which um, brings me to another thing. You can even have a sunshade here in the bow area. Sea Ray has a system, it's not fitted on this particular boat, but you can have a sunshade in the bow area. Grab rails here, so really nice uh, detailing. Speakers, of course. And also the pattern in, uh, is uh, applied here on these sides, but also on the inside with the contrasting fiberglass here, further cup holders, so plenty of space. And if you were to have to clean your, the boat or other things, there's nice details such as this non-skid area here and here, if you use it as a step on and going back. This can of course be closed, making it really practicable in early spring so that you can take the wind away from the cockpit. And of course, if you close the boat off, there's full canvas around this window area. Windows are, by the way, huge, really nice and uh, practical. Before we go into the cockpit, I suggest we go into the cabin which of course is really nice also. A really nice place to sit here and even for tall people like m myself, I'm one meter 92, there's plenty of headroom making this a nice sociable area. The table made in gray folds out also and this can be converted to a double bed. So two people could sleep here and two more people could sleep uh, right there, which we'll show you also. There's nice detailing that, for example, these cushions fold and you can see that there's switches and right there, there's uh, further storage. And I all, always tell my customers to look into storage areas and look at the finishing there and that is how you recognize the quality of a boat and as you see here with this C-Ray this is full gel coat. So uh, really nice detailing also in the upholstery here these nice items piece of leather here the nice wood here in gray indirect lighting speakers window uh, a, a really good window here something I always like because of course, you go out with the boat to look around you and usually you just don't feel as comfortable being inside a bow area where you don't have a window, which you actually do here. There's also a porthole for ventilation, which also brings me to the fact that this boat, uh, well, in fact, the SLX 400 is standard, is equipped standard with uh, air conditioning, so it also has a generator as a standard. So. Uh, even in really hot climates, you can still stay inside in a comfortable way. There's a head here, and usually I quickly go over that, but before I do, 
even here you can see the detailing. I mean, look at this. Look at this nice tab. Leather here. Again, there's a window with a porthole. And also these nice details with the great hinges. This is all finished properly. There's a coat hook here, switches and all cupboards, as you can see, are finished in a nice way. This countertop with a nice finish. Further details here, so you can store all things. There's a shower right here. And as you can see, I'm 1 meter 92. I can not stand here, but I think this is around 1 meter 80, which is really quite big for about this size. Electric, I think vacuum flush toilet. Let me close this and show you how big this area is here. It's really big. And now I'm more or less in the lounge mode. And that is also because there's a television right there. So imagine having a really well, not a really nice uh, day with maybe some rain even, being here and watching a nice uh, movie inside here in a really comfortable way. Of course, this is a huge bed. Now, again, I'm in the lounge mode. I think you'd uh, sleep in the other direction like this, but uh, it's huge, really nice and comfortable area. And of course, there's lots of nice details here. There's cupboards, there's storage, there's... Uh, 220 volt vol uh, sorry 220 volt uh, sockets so and of course ventilation for the air conditioning so a great place let's go outside nice teak steps and also made in a way that you don't slide ah before i go up there's a microwave of course a, a small fridge and here this nice countertop again leather wrapped Grab rail coming out of the uh, cabin area. I'd like to show you the cabin, but before I do so, this is a truly nice passenger seat. So if you have a few passengers, two can sit here in a really nice and comfortable way. Of course, the ergonomics are really great again, and the upholstery here is nice with the detailing and the stitching and the patterns. It's always great. What I like about this seat also is that it has the uh, flip-up uh, option so that you can sit slightly elevated and have a good overview of the surroundings. But even then, the backrest is high enough that you can still sit comfortably. So a really nice uh, detail. And something I truly like about this seat, which also brings me to the... Uh, cockpit area as you can see you can turn this so that you have a uh, possibility to face this towards the cockpit area sit here and have a really fantastic huge social area makes me quiet I mean imagine having a couple of friends here and I think it would be even more than a couple of a couple of friends this can carry easily 10 people, maybe more. This table here, a truly big, full teak table. So again, lots of place. You can have a drink, you can have a small meal here. There's two, two, three, two, two, and three cup holders. I didn't count them, but there are plenty. Again, the full teak here on the floor makes it really warm and uh, comfortable. Feels nice on your feet. Before I go into this any further, let me take you to the uh, steering position. The two seats here, these two fantastic bucket seats are now in the flip up uh, position, which I'll leave for now. And of course, we'll take her out for a spin later. But look at this really nice dashboard. Starting here, there's a VHF, there's the joystick for the uh, controls of the engine. There's a remote for these 16 inch, they come as a standard, these Simrad, I think they're NSX, NSS Evo 3, 16 inch, 
twin screens. I really like them. There's a remote here. Uh, there's the uh, special system from C-Ray, uh, the dynamic running surface, so that the boat is leveled in a nice way. You can have uh, the waves in the back set up in a way that they're uh, optimized for wakeboarding, maybe even um, water skiing or whatever. Uh, a, uh, a control for the wiper and the washer for the wiper. Of course, there's DTS, so digital digital throttle and shift, so makes it nice, quiet, and easy to use. The nice C-ray switches, as you can see, they're illuminated also. Fusion stereo, an upgraded control here. I truly like it. And while I'm here, let me show you some nice things about this, these screens. Um, this now is in the um, engine mode, I would say. Um, it doesn't show the uh, details because the engines are off, but we'll come back to that later. But C-Ray, Simrad have a, um, have set up a system called Nav Naviop, I think, where you can have digital switching. So you can turn off lights, you can turn on and off lights, of course, but you can even control different things, such as, and I have to have a look because I'm not you know, really used to it yet, but it is really easy. I'm now controlling the sunshade, which by the way is a really nice feature. So I can take the sunshade out right from this place. But you can control all kinds of things. The blowers, pumps, navigation lights, everything. A really nice feature and of course you have the chart option there's another chart installed at the moment but a really nice display and what i always like about these fantastic simrad displays that it is that even in strong light conditions when it's a really strong sunshine uh, in the summertime you can still easily read these screens there's controls for the audio there's controls for the active trim etc etc also here, nice detailing with this leather wrapped visor, stitching here, cup holders, these nice panels, I love it. And of course, a footrest here also in full teak. This is an opening canvas section, which is an option. Of course, it can be closed also, like this. I really like this also. I think anybody, at least in the Netherlands, would order this as, as an option. Really nice. There's also the blue. In this boat it's blue, but you can also have it in white. The LED lighting. And even here there's leather. I really like it. This galley area. Of course there's a sink here. There's a grill here, but you can even have two. Right here, this is a storage on this particular boat, but you can even have twin grills here. So you could really make a nice steak or even gambas for all your friends right here on this spot. Of course, there's a fridge here made in stainless steel. And there's plenty of other storage places. There's a dustbin here and here now there's these drawers for storage, but you can even have a, a wine cooler right here. Sockets, and there's a place, by the way, here to put the television. Um, this is the base to put it, and the television is stored in a dedicated storage. It's still brand new, I think. It's still wrapped, so we won't take it out. But this is where the television is, and also this here is covered with uh, or finished with the uh, carpet so that putting it in won't damage the television that's the attention to detail like uh, we're used to from c-ray storage below here there's further storage here there's storage below there i won't go into all that but that what i will go into is this 
what C. Ray calls terrace. I really like it. A truly fantastic gimmick. There we are. Imagine this. I mean, lying li uh, like we're doing now on a beautiful sunny day, being here with your family, kids jumping in and out of the water, swimming. You just have your own private terrace. Fantastic. And like I just showed you, you can turn this around in either direction, whichever is more comfortable. The sunshade extends, I didn't take it out fully, but it extends all the way. And there's plenty of seating, lounging possibilities here. So, uh, yeah, just a great place. An important other feature is this submersible swim platform, which I'll also show. There we go. Really nice. I mean, you can sit here with your feet in the water. You can uh, move it up slightly. Let me just do that for a moment. So that you have it just in the water like that. So the kids use it to jump on and off the boat, get out, get in and out of the water. A really nice feature. There's the cleats again. Let me just show you this. They fold away so that you don't stumble over the cleats. Sea Ray logo engraved. A really nice feature. There's speakers. There's one here, there's one there. There's two more here. And this also brings me there's a bed here, quiet ride. That is what Sea Ray does for the US built boats with a special tuned transom, making the boat even more quiet than it already is. So that is something that really separates Sea Ray from the competition, I personally feel. There's a huge storage area below here. I won't open it now because we put all our gear for this uh, video right in, but this is a huge storage. And what I personally like it is, is that it's even big enough to bring a, an inflated stand-up pedal board. Not a 13 foot uh, stand-up pedal board, but one I think up to around 11 feet or so. You can just bring it here, put it in, take the boat out and have a uh, nice tour with your stand-up pedal board. Of course, there's an outside shower here warm and cold water and you can even have a full shower here you see this place here you can even there's a, a special pole mounted on the inside that there's dedicated storage in this storage area so you put the pole here you use the shower and you have a full shower here on the aft i love it with that let's take her out for a spin so here we are taking the Sea Ray SLX 400 out for a spin. But before we do that, I have to be slightly careful, there's a fisherman here. But before we do that, a uh, thing that I truly like about this Sea Ray is that it is equipped with the uh, Axia system, which means that it also has the joystick steering and skyhook and autopilot. A couple of features that I really like, so let me just take her into neutral. You may see that this is illuminated in a green way now, which means that the joystick is, uh, joystick is activated. And now I can actually drive the boat like this. As you can see, even moving sideways, the further I push it, the more powerful it goes. This is equipped with twin 430 horsepower high output 8.2 engines, really powerful ones. And you can see how fast it moves sideways. It may be doing this, but when I turn this here, I can also turn this direction in the meantime. But even going back simply like this, the more 
I push it, the faster it goes. It's even like a speedboat in the reverse. Just like this, pushing it forward, turning the knob, and she'll turn like this. Even like this, you see it returns like this, holding its position, turning 360 degrees. Skyhook, there's hardly any wind now, so it's not a really good example today. But if I were to put it on Skyhook, like I'm doing now, there's a warning here that ship swimmers shouldn't be in the water now because of course the engines are running. But you could actually walk around. I have the uh, emergency cord on, of course. There's a first mate option, which I'll say something about later. If you would have that, you would have a wireless man of board system. So don't try this at home. But you could, if you had the first mate system, actually walk around, keep the boat in its position, put the fenders out, take the lines in or whatever you need to do while the boat is still maintaining its position within a margin of, um, I think, maybe a maximum a couple of meters. You may hear uh, a sound going that is just to warn people not to be in the water and to be careful because the boat is actually running, moving slightly and holding its, its position. So a really great feature, which again, I think should only be used when you have the wireless man overboard system. And of course, something, let me take her off skyhook, confirm that I'm taking the controls back. Something that I really like a lot too, I have a boat with the first mate system and I go to the island where we just were, well, quite often and I uh, tend to go by myself. When I take the boat out of the marina, I just more or less aim the boat in the direction I want to go like I will be doing now. Let me just point her in the direction of our marina. And I put on the autopilot, which is just the press of a button again here. It's this button. You may see that this is illuminated now also, so that the turn like this moves the uh, autopilot with one degree. If I do like this, it will move by 10 degrees. But what I like with this autopilot, again, only do this when you have the uh, wireless man of board, the first mate system, you can just walk around. And that is what I do. I take, her, take my boat out and I just take the lines in, store the fenders, clean my boat a bit, turn the radio on, grab a drink, whatever you need to do. The boat just uh, goes and it's as simple as that. There's even an option that you can go from one waypoint to the other, which I won't go into for full detail, but there are so many options with these uh, setups. But those are a couple that I uh, really like. Again, Skyhook to maintain the position and uh, the autopilot uh, system, which I'm using now so that you have your hands to do other things. Um, talking about the uh, man of board system, this is still the uh, cord, which is fine, of course. You could have the first mate system, which is new for Mercury, new for, I think, 2021. Um, I have it on my own boat and I really like it, where you can just have a small knob, they call it a fob, which you can have uh, like a watch on your wrist or with a clip around your belt or whatever and it's wireless. So if you fall overboard, the engine sh shuts off as a cap captain and you have passenger fobs where if the passenger were to fall off, the uh, captain and other people having the uh, first mate uh, app on their phone would get a warning that somebody fell overboard. A really nice uh, feature. So here we are out on the Ciray SLX 400. Driving, we're doing close to 10 kilometers an hour now, uh, gently going back to the marina. Um, the dynamic running surface pad is right here. I won't go into full de detail here, but there's a really nice way of running the boat, putting it in auto mode, and it will just 
keep the boat level. That's basically what it does. Really nice and simple, but there are different options. You can have user modes uh, where you have a certain setup for a certain wake if you want to do wakeboarding or whatever. A really nice system. And of course with these huge 16 inch screens you have full info and now I chose this setup but you can have different uh, split screens. I uh, tend to have this one because it shows all the engine, engine data like the fuel level, uh, RPM, speed over ground, volts etc. But you can have all kinds of setups but I like this one. The steering wheel can be tilted of course, put it in the upward position being in the uh, up position like I am now so that I have a good overview. I really like this footrest because now I'm sitting in a nice and comfortable, ba comfortable way while I'll still have a good overview. And if I were to do this I would just sit different. I could even slide the seat off like this. Again, I'm 1 meter 92, there's plenty of space here. Ergonomics are perfect, there's place to store your phone, etc. You can even lean with your arm here, you can have your glasses here, you can have a drink, two further drinks for the passengers there. So a really nice setup. While driving like this, you notice that it is a nice and quiet boat, thanks to a quiet ride, of course, also but it still is a sporty boat. It's a big boat, it's a heavy boat. Just checking if there are other people on the lake so that we will be taking up the speed. Um, going 14 kilometers an hour, but let's take her up to plane. Gently for the camera not to fall. Off we go. Taking the speed down a bit. We're already doing 55 kilometers an hour. Cruising really comfortably. Still, the autopilot is on. Let me take a slight turn. There we go. That's a bit too much. And there we go. Hands free. Really nice way to plane comfortably, doing 51 kilometers an hour. Three and a half thousand RPM. And here we go. There are only two people on board now, but you can still have 15 people or so, and it would plane easily. We have done so some time ago. It's powerful enough to even take her on to plane with a large group of friends, and it's still really fast. Um, let me take that off for a moment. Off we go. Pilot, confirm and do some turns. You can feel that it is a big boat, but still, it's so easy with the steering. I can even do it with one hand. much 
fun. 40 foot boat, but it drives like a 28 foot sport boat. I think uh, we uh, went through the boat in full detail. Still, if there's anything I forgot, please leave uh, your question or remark in the section below this video. Uh, I'd also like to invite you to keep following our channel because we uh, sometimes do live uh, videos, both via YouTube but also via Facebook. And we'd like to have a bit more interaction with uh, our customers. We'd like to know what's going on, what kind of questions you have, what you'd like us to show on videos, what you'd like us to do. Um, but for now, I'd like to thank you for watching. We'll be taking this great CRAS LX400 into the watershed. Uh, she'll st still be around for some time in our marina. She will be going to Cannes, uh, to the Cannes Boat Show also. So please visit our facilities or the Cannes Boat Show. I hope to see you there and I hope you'll keep following our channel. Thank you for watching. See you next time.